friends, I am Miss Google and today we're going to talk about the relationship between mental health and social media. Let's start. First, let's answer this question. How much time do you think you spend on social media daily during quarantine? According to Vietnam Digital Statistics in 2020, the population of Vietnam is about 97 million people. Within the total population, approximately 70% use the internet, but the surprising factor is that 67% use social media. What exactly is the mental health that we often discuss? According to the World Health Organization, mental health is a state of well-being in which the individual realizes his or her own abilities, can cope with the normal stresses of life, can work productively and fruitfully, and is able to make a contribution to his or her community. The COVID-19 pandemic has definitely veered us to spend more time online, especially on social media. Digital platforms help people stay connected and make work from home possible for many. Social media plays an important role in our lives and provides us with many benefits. First of all, we can now update and share information with others instantaneously. Secondly, social media helps build virtual communities to support those with mental health problems. Last but not least, social media connects people, especially during this pandemic. In terms of information, social media provides a large amount of knowledge, news, and trends that help young people connect with others and, importantly, avoid loneliness. Next, social media facilitates opportunities for those struggling with mental health problems and also experts to join and establish communities that can support and give timely advice to one another. According to the Making Caring Common Project by Harvard in 2020, 43% of people surveyed reported of having been struggling with loneliness since the beginning of the pandemic. Meanwhile, video calling, messaging, and updating status on social media help us maintain relationships and notify our health status to friends and families to prevent loneliness. However, there are also many dangers involved with social media. Some negative aspects on mental health include cyberbullying, addiction, negative effects on social behavior, and risk of mental illnesses. According to a survey conducted in 30 countries by UNICEF, more than a third of young people reported of being a victim of cyberbullying. Social media platforms are known to be the most common place where cyberbullying occurs. In more extreme cases, victims can become depressed or attempt suicide. Social media is highly addictive and 10 million users are estimated to be affected by internet and social media addiction. Impacts of social media dependency can lead to tiredness, negative thoughts, eating disorders, insomnia, and chronic stress. The freedom of social media allows harmful content and misinformation to spread quickly. When young people see this content, they may unconsciously follow, and if happens frequently, their behaviors and personalities not change, which can affect their health and psychological well-being. FOMO, or fear of missing out, is a common phenomenon accelerated with social media that caused many of us to become anxious or even depressed when seeing the seemingly more fun and better lives of others on Facebook, Instagram, or Snapchat. Frequent use of social media and encounters with negative information are also related to many mental health illnesses such as anxiety, depression, or schizophrenia. So, is social media the key or the cause to a mental health problem? Join us and share your thoughts on Science TV with the brief on August 8th, 2021, to the next spot topic. Social media and mental health. Good or bad?